me is a specimen of the young Inga edulis, the ice cream bean. Uh, I planted this one a few years back from a seed uh, that I got at the uh, University of Hawaii in Hilo. Uh, a gentleman was giving a talk about stick mulching in permaculture and uh, I answered a question right. So he gave me the entire pod. The pods on this tree are probably about this long. Uh, this one is just coming to flower. There's a few little white blossoms up in the top of the tree. But the Inga I want to talk about is another one that I have in the rear of the property that's much older. This is the Inga that's got my interest today. You see here, Ingas have these little white flowers, feathery looking. Here's some big clusters of what's going to be fresh bloom. This one, instead of making the great big giant pods that are uh, perhaps more attractive, makes these funny little gnarly ones here. Now I'm not exactly sure of the species on this. Okay, uh, There's about 200 different species of Inga. Um, I acquired this one unnamed uh, this fruit samples at the Makuhu Farmers Market one day. Pocketed the seeds after testing it. Um, and what I found is that this variety with the short stubby little knobby pods is absolutely the finest tasting of all the Ingas I've ever eaten. Um, ice cream bean has a reputation because of its name. Definitely ice cream bean sounds wonderful. And truth of the matter is, is a lot of them that I've eaten, I don't really personally think they were all that great. Um, best description is um, tastes a lot like uh, cotton candy. Okay. And so this is a legume tree, it fixes nitrogen, it's really valuable in combination with other crops. Here in Hawaii we often use it to uh, coppice as a stick mulch crop. If you have rows of papayas in a field or you have rows of coffee or cacao, you can grow a row of inga side by side with the coffee or the cacao and then we cut all the branches and foliage off the ingas several times a year, keeping them culpist and dropping the branches on the ground as a stick mulch around the actual crop in the field. Um, but there is uh, an application as a fruit too, and so I'm going to go ahead and do what I'm famous for. Uh, I'm going to open one of these pods and we're going to try it out right in front of the camera here. I'll try to do this carefully because I want to conserve the seeds. Um, and so I have to cut gently so I don't cut through the seeds. Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. That's what the inside looks like. The seeds here are embedded in a ball of cottony looking wool. And the wool really is a whole lot like cotton candy. Mmm, mmm. Whatever species you think of this one is, it's really good. It's, I'd call it, I'd say it's a cross between cotton candy and chewing gum. <laughs> because it's, it has that very sweet, sweet uh, sugary taste when you put it in the mouth. kind of dissolves a bit. But it chews too, because there's a lot of fiber in there. And then in the middle of it, we got these uh, large purpley, dark looking seeds. These are often germinated inside the pods. Uh, this is a plant that's almost impossible to ship seeds. Okay, it's really hard because the seeds don't last any time at all out of the pods, they have to be planted almost immediately. It's good. It's real good. Mm. Oh, sweet, sugary, uh, cottony, good fiber in there. Chances are it's probably a pretty good plant fiber for you. Um, this particular Inga, whatever its species happens to be, is not the most um, it's not the most beautiful looking of all the Inga fruits, but man, this one tastes good. Like I said, I'm not all that impressed with most of the ice cream beans I've ever eaten. 
And this one here I put it in because it was uh, experimental. I was planning to use it, uh, you know, coppice between my coffee too. Uh, right over here, we've got Kona coffee, fruiting. But I decided I liked the fruit so much that I couldn't cut it down. So I've let it grow. Here's a view of the tree from another angle. Kind of give you an idea. That, that this, this is a pretty big plant. Um, off the top of my head, I believe this one's probably about five years old. Okay, um, It tipped during the hurricanes here on the island, and so the trunk's on a big angle. It swoops back up, so the tree is unnaturally short because of the tipped trunk. These get huge. I mean, the plants can actually develop canopies 60 feet across. You can shade a whole house with one of these things. Um, but uh, this one, I believe, started bearing fruit for us probably in about three or four years. Uh, three years to get ice cream bean fruit on you know, most varieties is pretty typical. And here are the pods hanging in the tree. Pods in C2. Pods like that. These are pretty ripe. Um, they're going to come dropping out of the tree here shortly. I find that this is the most delicious when the fruit is picked up from the ground under the tree. Uh, you don't want to get them overripe, but when they fall out of the tree and they achieve a decent golden sort of a color, um, these are much better. So there you have it. Inga, the ice cream bean. Um, Excellent permaculture legume, good for food forests, great for coppicing in between other crops, um, interesting plant, uh, interesting fruit, sweet, tasty cotton candy in, in a pod on a tree. Happy gardening. Aloha.